Today we're going to finish up looking at friction in Scratch. Um, so right now, from the last video, we have I have the cat that moves with the arrow keys, um, but once it starts moving, it just keeps going off the screen. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to slow down um, sort of all the time. If it's not, if I'm not sort of using the arrow keys, it should be slowing down and getting towards zero. Now I need a little bit of math for this. Um, Scratch will do math for you. Uh, any programming language will. Uh, in operators, we have four operators which are arithmetic ones. Plus, minus, times, and divide. Um, I can, can make this a little bigger? Yeah, I'm going to make it a little bigger just so you can see that for a second. Um, plus, minus, times, divide. Uh, times is using an asterisk. Right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take our x speed and we want to change it so that it's going to get a little bit smaller. Um, but it's never, we don't want it to go from like a positive number to a negative number. We don't want to just switch direction on our own. Um, and so we're going to do that by multiplying. We want to multiply by something that makes it smaller, which means something less than 1. Um, I can type numbers in here, and I can, I can have this do my arithmetic for me, 6 times 8. Uh, and if I double click on it, it'll tell me 48. Um, it can do that with a variable. Multiply x speed times 8. x speed right now is minus 5, so that should give me minus 40. Great. Um, now, of course, uh, I, want, I said I wanted to multiply by something that was less than 1. Um, and in order to do that here, I need to use decimals. I can't use fractions uh, unless I wanted to use another block. Decimals are easier in this particular case. Uh, so 0 0.8, um, um, ah, negative 4 instead of negative 40, that makes sense. And I'm going to set x speed to this new smaller number inside of my forever loop. So after I change x speed, I'm going to set that. Um, so uh, did you see what happened there? I had, I had x speed at something, and it just slowed right down. Um, you might notice that this is moving really slow. This is too much friction. This is like moving through mud. Um, so I'm going to make this number bigger. It still has to be less than 1. So let's try 0.9. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That moves, and it slows down pretty quick once I stop. But in the meantime, if I'm just holding on, it actually does get faster, which is great. Whee! Um, you can tweak that number. Um, you could even make that a variable. But that is our friction algorithm.